Okay, so we've got bass drum followed by hi hat, snare drum, bass drum, hi hat, snare drum, <laughs> bass drum, hi hat, snare drum. Right, not necessarily everything playing the, at the same rhythm, but pretty much all the way up to the last note of that bar, right? The very last one is the one sixteenth note off beat that we've got. Everything else is based off eighth notes. All right, so questions so far? <laughs> it's a moving note. <laughs> it's a moving note. What is this? That would, that would actually be a cool name for uh, like a solo alternative music record. Catching notes. No? Like catching flies? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> deep. And the, the the cover is just me, like very karate kid. Remember that scene? He's catching oh. flies with the chopsticks, yeah, but yeah. using drumsticks. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we've got the cover. Let's make the music. <laughs> yeah. All right, so no questions. Let's tackle this. Let's do it. All right. So this is going to be the first bar, okay? So just as a so just we just so we hear it before we play that to the click, we've got one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. I'm just looping the first bar. Yes. Chitapum, chitapum. So one e and the two e and the three and the four e and the one e and the two e and the three and the four e and the one e and the two e and the three and the four e and the. All right, all right. We'll do that nice and slow first. Here we go. Three e and the four e and the one e and the two e and the three e and the four e and the one e and the two e and the three e and the four e and the boom, da boom, da boom, da boom, da boom, da boom, da boom. It was just a minute. Now, there's a little pattern there. That if we are uh, struggling to, to play that at a faster tempo, it's a good idea to kind of to see, and uh, I always say this, I know, but it's still a good idea, 
to uh, try to, to see the bigger picture. So, for example, what I'm referring to is that the Bresham hi-hat and snare drum pattern, <coughs> it repeats itself, right? Yeah. You got bass, hat, snare. That's a little loop there that repeats itself, right? Bass, hat, snare, bass, hat, snare, bass, hat, and then it's still the same loop, but the last snare comes in a bit earlier. But it's still the same pattern, the same. Just the last one is. But regardless, regardless, still bass, hat, snare. And that's how one memorizes these patterns a lot faster, right? Because then you can just kind of memorize that one idea. That's a cool little, little lick, by the way. It's a classic textbook drawn by Phil, almost, that you can insert in the middle of a more normal drum bass drum beat. Let's say you're playing a. Can orchestrate that differently. Okay, let's try that again. So this time at 70 BPM. The speed before was 60, by the way. All right, so kick, hat, snare, kick, hat, snare, kick, hat, snare, kick, hat, snare, and, 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 So if we have questions, make them make them now. Because eventually it's just gonna be like, oh my god, I don't have more juice. The running gag now is that I walk around the because we are three weeks away from the summer concert, right? So I walk around the, the all the classes and I walk in and like keep on squeezing, keep on squeezing. There's more juice to come out. Because everyone's freaking out. It's not just you, it's guitar students, I hear them like, ah, next week I have a birthday party. I'm like, hmm, sounds like you're not squeezing enough. And then you have one more lesson before the show, the, the concert. Do I? I am. But I find it hilarious when they only realize, when it's like, uh, it's next week? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, questions. <laughs> I just find this build up very, very interesting. <laughs> From a sociological standpoint. Oh my God. Oh my God. You got all kinds of people. The ones who realize, like I've just spent the last four months fooling around, and I, should, I guess I should practice, or the ones who've been practicing, and they, you know, well, they're still nervous anyway. Simple. There's also the the, the kind <laughs> who suddenly realizes they have a dentist appointment on the day. <laughs> they've been, they've been, uh, no, this is, oh, it happens every time. Every time someone suddenly just caves, like, nope. <laughs> I thought I could do this four months ago, but I don't think so. Ah, I got a thing. Really, uh, it's been booked for so long, I forgot. 
sure thing, but <laughs> see you in August. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Questions? No? All right, 80 BPM, here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, and five, and... Jackson and uh, at the summer concert so you know that that intro beat boom using that for the <laughs> see we all all we need to do is be resourceful People are like, ah, I need to buy a special module on the Pragma Pad and spend 600 pounds on. Do you have a symbol? Do you have a floor tom? Do you have a thingy? <laughs> Which is just there for effect. Still sounds the same without it. <laughs> All right, questions. You're going to go up to 90. 90 B P M. One, two, three, F, four, A. I can say Bass head snap bass head snap bass head snap snap bass head 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 snap bass it's the last one I can say bass head snap bass head snap bass head snap bass head snap
Okay. All right. We're gonna move on. Gold Tempo, as we know, for drum and bass, or within the drum and bass context, would be you know we're looking at 160, 165, up to 200. So this is 165. <laughs> Right. That's important. You gotta aim at something big and high and difficult. All right, we're gonna move on. Second bar. Okay, it starts with the same pattern. Ah, huh? surprise, surprise. Bass head snare. And then we've got a little uh, section there of singles. All right. And beat four is just a bass drum. Push. So you end up with one e and a two e and a three and a four. One e and a two e and a three and a four. Boom, stop, boom, chick, chick, um. Boom, stop, boom. Etc. Okay, so what? A minute for you guys to try that out and then we'll do it together. We're gonna go back to 60 BPM though. It works really well with the, uh, as a two bar phrase. And a punch, tap punch, tap punch, tap punch, tap punch, kick bomb, punch, tap punch, tap punch, kahunch, tap punch, kick bomb, punch, tap punch, tap punch, kahunch, tap punch, kick bomb. Say it, otherwise it's not. <laughs> Come on, peace. That, that, that uh, no, there, there is such a thing as reggae mashed up with drum and bass. It's like um, you know that subgenre of this uh, EDM music, electronic music, dubstep. So dubstep uses a lot of not there's also many subgenres within dubstep. But there's uh, like this reggae dub, dub reggae, I don't know what they call it. But it, it's kind of a, like a fusion between the two. It's weird sounding, to be completely honest. It's like, what's happening here? <laughs> Sounds to me, to me, okay, I, I might not be the most, I'm, I'm biased because I'm not a big fan of reggae and dubstep <laughs> separately. So <laughs> you bring them together, it's like, all right, do that. Uh, so this is cabbage with carrots. <laughs> Where's the meat? <laughs> I, c I can do meat with cabbage. Fish with carrots, that's okay, you know. I'll, I'll fly with that. Cabbage with carrots, that, that's it? That's the dish? I don't think so. So reggae dub or dub reggae or reg step. <laughs> but reggae has a lot of those like weird, like 
explorations like reggaeton, for example. It's terrible. It's terrible music. It's abs- it doesn't even sound like reggae. I don't know. I don't even know why they call it reggaeton. But this reggae, the actual dubs, dub reggae, dub reggae. That's what it's called, apparently. Ah, but there's a, uh, the next uh, video says reggae dub. <laughs> so who knows what we're looking at? <laughs> So far sounds like reggae. Must be missing the point. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand what I'm hearing. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, okay. Uh, it sounds like reggae, but there's sound effects. Is that what makes it dub reggae? Okay. Go. Uh, you know those r- <laughs> the radio guys. That's what it sounds to me. Um, all right. So second bar, 60 BPM. Four and punch da punch chick da punch da punch chick dong. Get cocky. Okay, so one, two, three, and four, and so those two snare drums, these two, nice and soft. There's only one accent. Ba boom chick chick da.
Noise, ATV PM. Awesome, 90, and then we'll bring those two together. A one, two, a three, and four, and punch, da punch, chicky on. Very good. 90 BPM. Okay, so let's bring those two bars together now and create the two bar uh, pattern that we want to create. Okay, so I'll play it again. You guys know that this understanding of what it sounds like. All right, so bar one and two. Nice and slow first. One, two, three. 
twenty and the two and the three and the four and the one and the two and the three and the four. One and the two and the three and the four and the one and the two and the three and the four. One and the two and the three and the four and the one and the two and the three and the four. Okay. Questions. All right. So back to sixty. One, two, three, and four, and the. Questions? All good? All good? Okay. All right, 70. And the two we and the two e and the four. One e and the two we and the two e and the four e and a one e and the two e and the chit 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 dum. One e and the two e and the three e and the four e and the one e and the two e and the three e and the four. One e and the two e and the three e and the four e and a one e and the two e and the chit 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 boom. Boom chita boom chita boom chita boom chita boom chik chik boom. Ponch, pa ponch, da ponch, da ponch, da ponch, chik chik pon. Ponch, da ponch, da ponch, da ponch, da ponch, chik chik pon. Ponch, da ponch, da ponch, da ponch, da ponch. Eighty. 
Ricky. Dig it, dig it, uh. What's the hi hat? So, as promised, we'll play some music today. We won't use any of those drum beats because those are nasty. But we will use, uh, I want to say that it was the first one we learned here, drum and bass wise, um, which goes something like this. Right, so I feel 
like saying that you are saying that this is the point. The number one. It's not like I said this is number two. <laughs> you have another point to make? Yes, I have. Take your time. Take your time. It's the, th that's an easy one, okay? Everyone got it the first time you tried it, no problem. Here's, here's today's problem. <laughs> the first track we'll play is this one. Yeah, you have it? All right, so this is the first track. And by the way, that click, those are quarter notes, <laughs> not eighth notes. up to tempo, right? So let me just see. That was roughly 24, 145. Okay, so it's still, it's, it's, it's a ballad. <laughs> In context of drum and bass, yeah, it's a ballad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a love song. <laughs> okay, 145. So we've got, let's, let's start Let's say 120. See how you feel there, and then we'll uh, we'll try. To, to see, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so 120. One, two, three, and four. And Thank you. 
130. And 130. Ready? One, two, three, four. Awesome. 140. 140, oh my God. That, you know, that reminds me of... Um, yeah, it's when, I, when I have a, a first lesson with someone who's been playing already for, for a while, I always ask, uh, like to ask, like, okay, well, what, what's the goal then? Because a big, total beginner doesn't really know how to define goals. Like, I want to play Sweet Child of Mine. All right, <laughs> be quiet. But someone who's been playing for a while, <laughs> they kind of have more specific goals, right? Um, and I was uh, teaching the, this person last week, first lesson, but she had been playing, or she's been playing for on and off for 14 years. Right? So she kind of you know, has ideas and goals that she's established, the things that she realized over the years she didn't quite achieve, she, she should have. Um, like, so one of the things that she mentioned was rudiments. She said, I've been playing for 14 years, but my rudiments. Never really got up to stuff. And I asked, you know, but what's the goal? Like, give me an example of a rudiment that you would like to develop, learn, master, and use more efficiently. She goes like, uh, the paradiddle, for example. Okay, cool, paradiddle. That's a good rudiment, very useful. What's the tempo? And, and then I, I kind of went on a little bit of a, I guess, a speech about how important rudiments are because you know they, they are effectively boring and they are the vegetables of all this but they eventually they open up the door for you to play things that you would see more like dessert instead of vegetables right you can play these legs that actually sound good and they but they are based off the vegetable so i asked her like okay what would be the tempo at which if you could play the paradiddle at you would look at the paradiddle finally as a as as dessert instead of looking at it as a veggie, which is why you haven't done it for 14 years <laughs> in the first place. It is. It's perception, right? We look at these things as boring, so we put them off, put them off, put them off. We keep on postponing, right? Um, and she looks at me, kind of thinks for a bit, and she and she said, "90." That was kind of my reaction as well. <laughs> I was like, "90." All right. What, 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 explain me your reaction. I'm going to use this as a, for me to understand. Why, why did you look at me and said, wow? I did. You did? Yeah. You did? Well, why, why was that? You think it's too high? 
Too low? Too low. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, right? So I was a little bit like, but, but that helped me as a teacher. But that wasn't a moment of like, 90, what the hell's wrong with you? That was, that for me, was a, a moment. Um, yes. So yes, yes, yeah, I do know what, what, what you mean. But bear in mind, it was 14 years on and off. So uh, there was a lot of offs there. And she was telling, uh, telling me her backstory which is irrelevant for the case. But for me, the fact that she saw 90 as a um, like this holy grail of, <laughs> of the paradiddle told me uh, uh, exactly why she wouldn't get there. Because she put such a, a, a comfortable tempo at such a high standard, like, how the hell are you going to get to 200? <laughs> right? And I told her, like, okay, 90, fair enough. Um, my goal when I was learning the paradiddle was 200. And she looks at me like, what? Like, as if I was just like, why? It's like someone saying to you, just out of the blue, my goal in life is to make one billion pounds. Your first reaction is like, what the f is wrong with you? That's our visual reaction. Like, we just go like, why would you want to be so special? <laughs> is it not? If someone tells you that, right? Like, you're walking outside and you go like, you know, my goal in life is to make one billion pounds. You wouldn't think, oh, how inspirational. Teach me how. No. Mm -mm. We go like, you're a bad person, <laughs> and I want you to die. <laughs> you're showing me how low my standards are. I'm not saying that that's a good start. It's just it's in comparison, right? Yeah. For me, it was 200 BPM. That was my billion pounds. I was like, if I get to 200 BPMs with the paradiddle, I got it. I nailed it. I'm going to get the patch. And she was, she had a very visual reaction, not of hatred, but she was like, huh? Why? Almost like, why would you? Because it was, it was just so unthinkable, the number. And I was like, well, because I knew that I could. I've seen it being done. I had seen it. My teachers, like YouTube. <laughs> I had seen it being done. Like, wh so why can't I do it? Do I have my hands, sp no, they're normal, five fingers. That's why. It's really that simple. <laughs> like, there's no deep thoughts there. It's just like, I know that I can. But by, you know, even if I, let's say that I were to fall short, for sure I wouldn't stop at 90 since my goal was 200. But, but if you set your goal for 90, you're going to stop at 50. Which is exactly the case with that person. So that was an important moment for a mindset shift there. Like, no, 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 you got to, Stop looking at realistic as goals. <laughs> that's that's silly. W why aim at what you know you can do today? That's silly. Um, all of this because you, you, I said 140, and you were like, whoa, 140, god damn it. <laughs> you had that face of like, this is an unthinkable number. It's not. We're all there. Right? Important. But yeah, by the way, uh? It's a very thinkable number. But speaking of paradiddles at 200, this is what 200 sounds like, right? So that's 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 exactly the face she made. She was like, "Come on now, you're not going to be able to do that." <laughs> And the annoying thing is that it's not even that difficult. <laughs> that's, the, that's the most annoying thing, is it's not even that difficult. It was. To get there, it was a long journey. But everyone looks at 200 as like the freakish, freakishly fast number, right? Which is why I appreciate, uh, although I don't musically care for when I see like those YouTube videos like uh, crazy drummer plays single stroke rolls at 300 BPM and I'm like this is going to be musically stupid because it's just so <laughs> it's so fast it sounds like a buzz but I can appreciate it because you don't get there by just you know by accident you don't one day you're practicing with your band and your hands just go into <laughs> like that doesn't happen <laughs> that's a lot of work and, and setting those crazy high goals 
I'm gonna get to 200 in my singles. I respect that. Musically, it doesn't tell me anything. But from a um, mindset and goal setting perspective, we can't, we can't judge. It's like when you watch a, a YouTube video with Vinny Colaiuta, right? Monster player, insanely good, super musical, super, um, you know, famous within the drumming circuit, and super, what's the word? Um, accomplished. There's always like five, 10, 50 morons that are like, this guy sucks. <laughs> always. Because, right, like they, it's the billion pound problem again. My goal in life is to make a billion pounds. Ah, oh, you suck. You're such a terrible person. <laughs> but what does that, no, that doesn't, doesn't even matter to them. The fact that they look at that and they say, you suck, it shows me that they are living in a parallel universe. Yeah. Not because they don't like it. That's not the point. But to say, this guy sucks, they are living in, in that, that's what we call uh, projection. <laughs> like, I suck, he's really good, let me say that he sucks, so hopefully I'll be really good. Like, this, right? the brain tries to switch roles w with these people. No, or, or you know, eh, but it's the same thing in any field, right? Cristiano Ronaldo sucks. No, he doesn't. Okay, you know it, I know it, and he knows it, Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> Which is why he doesn't suck in the first place. Because he knows he doesn't suck. But I also know, to your point there, that that guy, how old is he now? 33. Still a monster, right? Most players are considering retirement if, if they haven't retired by now. Right? 31 usually is the retirement age, right? Still going. Still scoring, like, I don't know how many goals he scored last year because I'm not following football anymore. But anyway, he's still a monster. Uh, I know he won football, Footballer of the Year again last year or this year at 33. There's a lot of football players out there. <laughs> it's not like... There's 10 running for football of the year. There's like thousands of them. Um, it's no joke, right? To, to win that, that award, whatever it means to you, it doesn't matter, but just as an accolade, like, yeah, it means something. Or meaning, or winning, you know, modern drummer, drummer of the year. Like the magazine every year elects like the guy. Yeah, it's no joke. If you win, it doesn't matter if you like awards or, but by the way, people who say like awards are stupid, it's because they never won one. What do you think? The day they win, the, like, uh, Modern Drummer Magazine, Drummer of the Year, goes to Derek Sanderson. They're like, oh, this is stupid. What? What? No. You're not going to do that. You're going to say, I want to thank my mom and my dad. And <laughs> Hashtag squeeze. <laughs> I'm sure we can put that on there. Oh, I'll keep with, the, with a lot of ease. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, speaking of high goals, 140. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Boom, touch, boom, bop, boom, touch, ticket, ticket, boom, bop, boom, touch, ticket, ticket, boom, bop, boom, touch, ticket, ticket, boom, bop, hey. Boom, that, don't that, boom, that, take a ticket, don't that, boom, that, take a ticket, don't that, boom, that, take a ticket, boom, that, 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 boom,
40. Which means... Can you guys hear the music okay? One, two, one, two, three, four. Boom, that, boom, bop, boom, that, don't that, boom, bop. Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna fly in my face. 